What's up guys? Are you ready for a new learning? I'm going to teach you as fast and as clear as possible. Today's topic is about sum and difference of two cubes. Take a look at these perfect cubes and familiarize yourself first. When a number is multiplied to itself three times, the result is perfect cube. And for variable, if the exponent of a variable is divisible by 3, it is perfect cube. And for us to determine if the given is an example of sum and difference of two cubes, the only thing we need to check is the two terms must be both perfect cubes. Let's try this example. x cubed plus 8. Having the information about perfect cubes, we can easily determine that x cubed and 8 are both perfect cubes. Since this is an example of sum of two cubes, we can follow these steps. First, we need to rewrite them in their cube form. x cubed is already in its cube form, and 8 is equivalent to 2 raised to 3. Now, since they are in their cube form, we will only pay attention to their bases. To make it easy, prepare these parentheses with operations. But be careful about the operations. If the given is sum of two cubes, the operation in the first parenthesis must be addition. And the first operation in the second parenthesis should be subtraction. Take note of this because this information is very important. Next, we're going to copy the base of the first term. Then copy the base of the second term. Next, we're going to square the base of the first term. The squared of x is x squared. Then, we're going to multiply the base of the first term and the base of the second term. And lastly, we're going to square the base of the second term. 2 squared is equal to 4. So the factor of 8 cubed plus 8 is the quantity of x plus 2 multiplied to the quantity of x squared minus 2x plus 4. Another one. Another example is x raised to 6 minus 64. This is an example of difference of two cubes. Because x raised to 6 is a perfect cube and 64 is also a perfect cube. Since this is an example of difference of two cubes, let's follow these steps. First, we need to put the two terms in their cube form. And make sure to copy that operation. Next, we're going to prepare this parenthesis with operations. Be careful with the operations. Since the given is difference of two cubes, the operation in the first parenthesis must be subtraction. And the first operation in the second parenthesis should be addition. Next, we're going to copy the base of the first term, then the base of the second term. Next, we're going to square the base of the first term. The squared of x squared is x raised to 4. And then multiply the base of the first term and the base of the second term. x squared times 4 is 4x squared. And lastly, square the base of the second term. 4 squared is 16. And our final answer is the quantity of x squared minus 4 multiplied to the quantity of x raised to 4 plus 4x squared plus 16. Another one. 8x cubed minus 1. This is an example of difference of two cubes. The first step, we're going to put them in their cube form. And make sure to copy the exact operation. Next, let's prepare this parenthesis. Be careful with the operations in the parenthesis. Then copy the base of the first term and the base of the second term. Next step. Square the base of the first term. 
the square root of 2x is 4x squared. After that, multiply the base of the first term and the base of the second term. And that is 2x. And lastly, square the base of the second term. 1 squared is still 1. So the factored form of 8x cubed minus 1 is the quantity of 2x minus 1 multiplied to the quantity of 4x squared plus 2x plus 1. Another one. For my last example, x raised to 9 plus 8z cubed. x raised to 9 is a perfect cube and 8z cubed is a perfect cube. And since the operation is addition, this is an example of sum of two cubes. The first thing we need to do is to put these two terms in their cube forms. Next, prepare this parenthesis. Make sure you're putting the right operations. Now, all we have to do is copy the base of the first term, the base of the second term, then square the base of the first term, multiply the base of the first term, and the base of the second term, and square the second term. For our final answer, the quantity of x cubed plus 2z multiplied to the quantity of x raised to 6 minus 2x cubed z plus 4z squared. And that's how we factor using sum and difference of two cubes. If you like this tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe.